Okay, and for those of you who are still here for Twitch, or those who came back the next day, uh, we have to fight a giant chicken. What? Faster, Donald. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Now we're super happy, Donald, again. Nope, now we're angry, Donald. Because I got hit by an egg. Ah, and I'm dead. I was doing so well. So I've killed so many of the chicken's babies. There we go. We beat up a chicken. That's the crux of Donald Duck's character arc, if you weren't aware. Beating up chickens. He's racist. That's not correct at all. Just needed to put up a weather vane. And the chicken was in the way. That's what you do when people are in the way of the things you want. Murder them and their children. No, please don't do that. If you're thinking about doing that, please stop. That was me being facetious. Please do not confuse facetiousness or sarcasm for sincerity. They are not related. Alright, so that was the first level. Second level is urban area. Alright. They called it First Avenue. They didn't call it Main Street. Which for a Disney game feels like they were, you know, not trying very hard. This Main Street's in Disneyland. Not in Duckburg. But admittedly, I heard that life was like a hurricane in Duckburg. He's got so much going on. Race cars, lasers, airplanes. Nope, died. 
Uh, they sent me all the way back here. Oh, I have five minutes per level over here. Well, that's fancy. You know, the public works in this city really needs work. There's there's steam coming out of everything. Uh, the electrical systems are a mess. Wait a minute, is that albatross supposed to be the one from the rescuers? Sure looks like the one from the rescuers. Ooh. That was some weird platforming. There we go. Just completely bypass that bullshit. Oscar, no. Wow, there are a lot of health power-ups around here. It's like they are expecting you to just have the worst time. Which, I'm sorry, if your level design necessitates that many health power-ups to be playable, there is something wrong with your design. Per like, maybe that's just my opinion. But it it's like the, uh... The, the Dark Souls thing, you know? Uh, if your game is poorly designed, that doesn't mean that your game gets to relish in being so hard. Especially if it's hard because you designed a poor game. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. It's probably just me. Oh, shit. I do like that they basically turned the, um... What do you call it? The damage boosting from Mario into a mechanic here? That part I, I have to give them credit on. And I do like that you have both a punch and a jump. That's always appreciated to me. Donald's having a good time. That's the important part. Still thinking I need to do a Spider-Man retrospective. Okay, what are we at? Oh, we're 12%. So we're about... A little over... What would that be? Like a seventh of the way there? There's a dedicated yell for Daisy button. It's like you're in Luigi's Mansion. Except you're looking for your girlfriend and not your brother. Oh, side scrolly level. There's part of me that feels that, like, urban levels have kind of this side effect of if you just could talk to people, you could solve a lot of these problems. That might just be me. But, 
like, if you were just allowed to go, hey, I need this weird weather rain that is over here. Can you send a police officer to help me get it? I guess that would get rid of the main uh, conflict of the game. And I'm not the guy who was smart enough to make a RPG about avoiding conflict, which is why uh, nobody's playing my games, and y'all are playing uh, Undertale and Deltarune. Because Toby Fox is the man who was smart enough to do that. I'm not bitter. I know that com comes off like I'm bitter. Good for Toby Fox. I'm glad somebody put it out there. Uh, because if we didn't have that, what would we give the Pope when we went to visit him? I mean... Sorry, like, I agree with the sentiment of what Matt Pat did there, but that still seems so funny to me. That of everything to happen that year, that was one of the most sane. Just punched a man to death. Why are the villains in this level just, like, regular people? More importantly, why do they die? That's very violent for a Disney game. Like, I feel like this was a Disney game that may have been only half thought out. Because a lot of my villains and or enemies in the last level were junior woodchuck scouts. Which are like boy scouts. So I killed boy scouts. Is basically what happened last level. And now I'm killing white collar American workers. This game gets dark if you overanalyze it. And like the trash can that's throwing trash. Maybe that's one of Gyro's inventions. Or maybe it's a homeless man who's just angry that I'm bothering him. Maybe, maybe it's like Oscar the Grouch. That would be horrible irony. Oh, if I picked up a health power-up, just in time to need a health power-up. Because, do... Do the orange juices and the milkshakes come in the same box? Do you not know what you're getting? How bad does Donald need to pee when he gets out of a level if all of his upgrades are juice and milk? How is he not throwing up? The milk would curdle in his stomach. That's why you don't make lemon ice cream. At least that's what I was always told. Maybe that's not true. Maybe I'm just not making lemon ice cream properly. Like, that was literally something my dad would, like, tell us about was when he was a kid, there was a place that sold lemon milkshakes. And his friends would try to drink them and they'd get sick and throw up everywhere. Like, that, that's clearly not the only thing they made. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You know what, boys? I need another explanation on how superpowers work. Because I'm missing something here. Special moves. Immediately after having jumped on three or more enemies in a row, without touching the ground, press the R button. Got it! Okay, so one... Nope. Let's try that again. No, okay. I got the idea now. Okay, okay, okay. So, bump, bump, bump. No, I did that backwards.
Here we go. I did one. Okay. That's cool. Too many. I pressed the X button too many times. Oh, is that not it? That's not it. Okay, I'm gonna talk to the boys, because I forgot my special moves. Okay. What is the ring-a-ding-ding? -ding? Up. X, 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 X. Okay. There it is. You just get these cute little things, I guess, with poor lighting. Or is the lighting from the area you're in? Is it AAXX? It's... There we go. Okay, so that's the golf. Ah, oh, that's clever. Okay, I like that. And then the other one is the AAXX. Okay, so one, two, three. There it is. Ah, oh, that's clever. Okay, I like that. All right, all right. So I gotta hit three enemies. So anytime I jump on three in a row, I hit R, and then I can do a special, which is like up A A A A or right X X X X, or no up X X X X. Okay, so we're going to go down. Oh, this one's Main Street. Okay. You would think Main Street would be the main street, but whatever. So let's get some actual water in me. Uh, there we go. Oh, shit. This asshole again. The fact you have to press a button to activate all of the boxes bothers me. I'm also a little concerned that for some reason Master Hand is the villain of the Donald Duck game. And Donald Duck isn't an ultimate. Where's your answer for that, Sakurai? It's gonna be DLC? I don't know. You gotta tell me that. Anyway. Thing is, I know if somebody's on the browse menu, we're gonna be the bottom. Uh, if they're looking for the subtitle, like uh, that, that's one of the areas I'm noticing that YouTube has an advantage over Twitch. Is that over on YouTube, this kind of content can get more traction because it's gonna get tagged better. It's it's gonna be connected to stuff. So, like, if somebody's watching old Donald Duck cartoons, this might get suggested. Um, compared to... 
um, there we go, compared to Twitch, where it's going to be somebody going from the browse page or somebody already follows. Which is fine. I like people who follow. And if you want to follow, please do. Follow us on Twitch. Great. Um, uh, bye, Gladstone. Okay, so I have to fight the Beagle Boys? Okay, okay, okay. Wait a moment. Get rid of the three Beagle Boys. First, the ball's gonna try to jump on me. And I can't just jump up where they are. That'd be too easy. Now I gotta dodge bombs. And now I gotta dodge the Wrecking Ball. There we go. Okay. I had a feeling it was gonna be something like that. Oh, crap. Now it knocks out chunks of the floor. No, the question is, do the bombs go down the holes? No. There you go, dipshits. Okay. And now it gets rid of two chunks of the floor at once. Because why wouldn't it? Oh, and there goes my theory of it can't take away chunks on the edge. Whoa! Now he's just aiming. Okay. Nope, I'm dead. Ah, oh, this is infuriating. Okay. So run around. Don't get hit. Easy enough. Then dodge bombs. Don't... Ah! No, Donald, dodge the bombs. Oh, that was easy. Now avoid the holes it leaves. Oh, do I not need to make it jump to me? Oh, that's so much more convenient. It's just dodge it. Okay. Let me go down to here. Yep. Okay. 
and I can't quite see him. Ah, crap. Ah, nope, he hit me. the thing. Boom! Alright, yeah. That's that's a dramatic punch for the era of game this came out in. Hello, little hummingbird. Nice. I, I love that kind of gag. Where, you know, a little bird lands on it and pfft, falls off. Okay, well, much like last time, for those of you watching on YouTube in the future, um, which is not quite as dramatic, I hope, um, you will see the rest of this later, because we'll be doing the Spooky Mansion in a separate video. So if you want to keep watching, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Twitch to watch us live, and of course, with Twitch subs... And Patreon, you help keep this show going. 